Ivan Techcrush here. In this video, I'm going to talk about best smartphones that you can buy in 2015 at a price range of $200 to $400. I mean, the best budget smartphones for the year 2015. We can sign a contract with these smartphones for definitely the top five smartphones. I'm going to choose or based on the camera quality, display size, and build quality, battery capacity and the hardware specifications and connectivity options on based on all these attributes i'm gonna pick the top five best mid-range smartphones for the 2015 and the first smartphone in the list is the asus gen phone 2 asus gen phone 2 is the first ever smartphone to have four gigabytes of ram in a smartphone the asus gen phone 2 has a big 5.5 inch 1080p display with a pixel density of 403 ppi which is very excellent for a 5.5 inch device and the asus gen phone 2 has a quad core 2.3 GHz processor which is 64 bit processor and it is made by intel it has intel autumn chipset and the phone has 4 gigabytes of ram as i had said previously and it has 32 gigabytes of internal storage which can be expanded up to 64 gigabytes through a micro sd card and the smartphone runs on android 5.0 lollipop operating system and the asus gen phone 2 has lte support when coming to the battery capacity the asus gen phone 2 have a huge 3000 milliamp battery and the fast charging capabilities are also included in the asus gen phone 2 when coming to the camera options the asus gen phone 2 have 13 megapixel red camera which is capable of recording 1080p hd videos and it has features like dual led flash and high dynamic range mode support and the asus gen phone 2 have 5 megapixel front facing camera the reason why i had chosen the asus gen phone 2 as the best mid-range smartphone is the price of the asus gen phone 2 because the price of the Asus Gen Phone 2 is only $300 for all these specifications, it only costs just $300. That's why I had picked the Asus Gen Phone 2 as the best budget smartphone of the year 2015. And the next smartphone in our list is the Sony Xperia M4 Aqua. And the reason why I picked this smartphone is it is IP68 certified. It means the phone is completely resistant to dust and water. The Sony Xperia M4 Aqua is a 5 inch device which has 720p display and it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 which is 64 bit chipset and it has an octa core processor with 2 gigabytes of ram and 16 gigabytes of internal memory which can be expanded through micro sd card and the sony xperia m4 app has 13 megapixel red camera and 5 megapixel front facing camera which can be used to take underwater videos and photos as well that's why i picked the sony xperia m4 aqua in this list and the smartphone has 2400 milliamp battery and it also supports 4g lte connectivity and the price of the sony xperia m4 aqua is 380 us dollars on the next smartphone in this list is the samsung galaxy alpha the samsung galaxy alpha is the one of the best compact smartphones i had ever seen the samsung galaxy alpha had a 4.7 inch screen which is 720p display and the device is powered by the samsung's own exynos 5430 chipset which has an octa-core processor and the samsung galaxy alpha has 12 megapixel red camera which is capable of recording 4k resolution videos which is not possible in any of other smartphones in this list the samsung galaxy alpha has capability of recording 4k resolution videos and it has 2 megapixel front facing camera the samsung galaxy alpha has 1860 million battery which is not the best in the market and the smartphone has 2 gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of internal memory which can be expanded through a micro sd card the price of the samsung galaxy alpha is around 320 us dollars if you really want a thin light and compact smartphone you can go for samsung galaxy alpha and the next smartphone in the list is the HTC Desire 820. It has big 5.5 inch screen with 720p display, which is nice. And the HTC Desire 820 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 615, which is 64 bit chipset. And it has an octa core processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of built in storage, which can be expanded up to 128 gigabytes through a micro SD card. The HTC Desire 820 has 13 megapixel red camera which is capable of recording 1080p HD videos and it has an 8 megapixel front facing camera. If you really want a large smartphone with better front facing camera, the HTC Desire 820 is the best option. The battery capacity of the HTC Desire 820 is 260 milliamps which is decent battery life. 
and the price of this smartphone is 320 US dollars. The last smartphone in the list is the Moto G 2015 edition which has 4G LTE enabled. The Moto G 2014 version has no 4G connectivity but the 2015 version has a 4G connectivity plus the battery capacity is expanded up to 2-3 mA uh, which is very good battery compared to the Moto G 2014 edition. The Moto G 2015 edition has all the same specs of the 2014 edition. If you are really looking for a smartphone around $200, the Moto G 2015 edition is the best smartphone you can choose right now. These are my top 5 best budget smartphones for the 2015. If you really find this video useful, do hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Peace.